Moving like the speed of sound We can keep on the ground Welcome to the Media Soup Podcast. We have a guest today. Our cousin Anthony is going to join us. And we are going to recap the year of 2015 and talk about our favorite movie, Yay! our favorite TV show and video game, and then talk about what we're excited for in 2016. So we're going to go ahead and start with movies. Justin, why don't you, you want to go to your favorite Jurassic movie? World. Jurassic World? Hands down. Why? Uh, just because of this, like all the nostalgia it took me back. As soon as I saw T-Rex, spoilers come out and just pretty much fit like well, when that final no, fight. It wasn't T Rex. Oh wait yeah, you're talking about it. Come on now? I thought you were talking about the the, the hybrid thing they did. That's because he's cool focused too. on another movie. I know, right? I'm not focused on another movie. Jeez oh man. But yeah, I I I liked I feel like that director did an excellent job at keeping what made Jurassic Park one so great. Um which was like the awe of the dinosaurs and which dinosaur was like top dog. It, I mean, a lot of people can argue like that it was weird training the dinosaurs and stuff, but I mean, they are running out of You moved to Lost Raptors? I like that. Yeah. I like that. See, I thought it was cool. Three of the four of us like this movie a lot for our <laughs> 2015 pick, and we should have just talked about it as a group. Because <laughs> there's only one person here that picked something different. Well, I mean, well, I mean uh, I'm allowed to have a different opinion. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't say it was I a bad never movie. Said you could have, I didn't say never. it was a bad movie. You rated it higher than Jurassic World, though. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Well, that's because it was a fake. Now, yes. I, now, you want to go ahead and continue on to the Jurassic World train? I don't know. He, he said almost everything about it. It's great. I mean, the only thing I didn't like, though, if we're, if we're going to say... If we're going to like, nitpick a bit? Yes. Yeah. Is the ad placement. Oh, uh, it was heavy. <laughs> it was heavy. Yeah, it was heavy. Yeah, when I pulled up the car. After a few times, I thought I was watching a commercial. <laughs> the Samsung. Was. Yeah. Samsung. Oh, yeah, the Samsung, in, 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 what was it, Invention Center or whatever. Yeah. I Imagination think my favorite Station. part, though, favorite part by far is when he cracked the, the coke. bottle of coke. <laughs> the bottle of coke. <laughs> it was a commercial at that point, but it, it was a great movie. It, it was. was. Yeah. The thing that did it for me was just that nostalgia. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I'd scream like a little girl at one point when the music kicked in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was fantastic. So for everybody's nostalgia, okay, I'm the only guy that's not gonna pick that as my favorite. I'm not gonna say it's a bad movie. I'm not gonna pick it as my favorite. I'm going Mad Max Fury Road, and I'm gonna say nostalgia for Mad Max. But it was also it was you just love the part of the guy just playing the guitar the whole. That was his favorite. <laughs> that really part. irks me. That part that <laughs> irks Nico so much. I don't that ignored. It. I don't care. Like I like the villain. I like all the fight. The fight scenes were done so perfect. Just how it's directed from like the, how the sh scenes are shot. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. I didn't think the story was the most mind blowing plot. Yeah, no, it was entertaining. But it was movie. awesome to see Max again. I enjoyed it. Just kicking ass. Oh, and Tom Hardy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tom Hardy. You can't Hardy. get wrong with Tom. But that's why I like my Max. I like all the old ones except for Thunderdome. Pretend <laughs> that one didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't awful, but, you know, the first two Mad Maxes were just so cool to me. I love that universe. So that was probably my favorite movie. I was so pumped for it when I saw it. Yeah, all right. I think, I, like I said earlier, I think the reason why that. For me, missed was just I feel like they had a lot of opportunities in that to make it even better, and they just missed the, them. The fight in the fog. Yeah, like that we talked about that. Yeah, it, it was still really. Cool. And I feel like the fight with the main like boss was anticlimactic. It was like hmm. boom, done. Yeah, it was kind of cool how they did it though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I did yeah. expect a lot more from it. Yeah, they, I I agree with that. I agree with that they could do a little bit more of the villain in his like final yeah. fight, but you know. I mean, but like I said, in the scene where he goes off in the distance to fight that guy coming in the tank, it's just a form of doing that kind of scene. Like yeah, everyone just gonna portray Yeah, everyone knew he was going to survive it, but yeah. yeah, I think we all would have liked the scene a cool fight. Okay, let's move on to TV shows. Justin? Um, TV show I'm picking pick? Fargo Season 2. There was a lot of shows I wanted to put on here, but since we had to pick our favorite, I actually, <clears throat> Fargo was one that I made sure that I watched every day. Um, I would say it did end flat. I expected a way better ending. So I didn't um, see it yet. It was, if you saw episode a, 9, yeah, if you saw episode 9, which you did, episode 10 is just kind of like a Cause we light saw summary of everything that happened. Um, it was really good from what I saw of it. But like, it's, it's still good. It's excellent. Just, um, and okay. I, I enjoyed season 1 when it came out. And 2, I think, with the exception of the final like episode, was even better. And I liked 1. So that's saying... A lot, I guess. Um, and I, I like with that just the 
seeing how everything escalates for each person. Like each person does one thing and the next thing you know now they're in a huge hole and then how they handle each situation. I, so that's I, my I love those mafia versus mafia type oh, shows yeah. and movies. That's like one of my favorite that. Yeah. yeah. That's why I like The Godfather so much. Um, Nico? Mine was Rick and Morty season two. A fantastic season at that. That was not yeah. mine. My main like, reason for picking it is that last episode. Which was fantastic. It, it was... That you bring such in for eyes. season three. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I am pumped for season three, but for Rick and Morty, it's it's funny, it's crude humor, it's, it, it's just great. One of the best comedies, mm -hmm. animated con comedies out right now, I think. I don't but think there's people way. that have seen it, they could argue that. Yeah. Because Everyone's talking about it. I mean, even, even like just playing games, you hear people make references stuff all the time. And you know, oh, it's yeah. fun to get in on it. You know, yeah. just how many people are just on this train right now? Yeah. So That's, look at the max. All well, right. This I'm is completely unrelated, but we expected to see a lot more Rick and Morty at the Comic Con this year, and we didn't. And we didn't. No, nope. it was disappointing. So hopefully, I, oh, I mean, there's a lot of drawings. These not, no, not really. So, like I don't know, three of a couple booths. They did a lot. Yeah, but not like you got a poster which we should have on the wall over here. It's well, in my room. Yeah. That one right over there. Well, that's, no, that's the future future one. one. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Wish that one could be over here too, though. It's a good one. I mean, forget. We, we can fill this wall with greatness. Well, okay. I, I still need the mud. All right. What was your favorite TV show? <laughs> my favorite TV, TV show was technically a Netflix original. It was an anime. Oh which, my gosh, was it good? It's the Seven Deadly Sins, yeah. Me and Justin, oh. we've been watch, we watched through it. It's absolutely amazing. I've, I've said this to these guys. It was Game of Thrones and Dragon Ball Z had a baby, and that's what it was. Probably, I have to put it as my top show. Like, I was more invested in it than The Walking Dead. This, but it was a weak season for Walking Dead. But it, It's just awesome. Having just finished it, and it's still being fresh. Yeah. I think it's one of the best animes that I've seen in a long time. In a long time. Yeah, in a long. Since, that, for me, no, since like this, Death Note and Attack on Titan. Yes. It is new. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Hmm. No. And you you compared it to Attack on Titan. Yeah. It's I would say as far it. as entertainment standpoint. Obviously, it's not going to be. I wouldn't say like, oh, expect this type of like writing or stuff. Like that. I I would say though, expect. The fact know. that every episode you're going to be like, I have to see what's What do you next. mean by writing? Like, how deep it like, is? Like, don't expect the I same... Well, I was going to say it was on the same level. I thought it was pretty deep. What's the basic premise of, uh, uh, of the Seven Deadly Sins? Mm -hmm. Well, it's... Well, I would be the best way to describe that. Essentially, it's... There's a uh, knight... What, what were they called? I, I, the this, whole... Hey, it's, it's, holy it's, knights. Yeah, there's these evil knights that are portrayed as good guys, but they there's this legend of the Seven Deadly Sins who were able to... They were framed for killing... A guy they didn't kill. It, he, that's not really a spoiler because they reveal it so fast. Yeah, they reveal it like the first yeah. episode. Or yeah, but uh, and um, but essentially, this girl goes. This princess comes to bring them all together to, to like, win back the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But From each deadly night. sin is like a rogue almost. They're like so. Just their characters are so unique, and like and um, they they are exactly that. Like to, unique in this situation. And they have is, insane like power. Like that we're talking the battle scenes. They like blow through cliffs and stuff. Yeah. It's just so cool. No, when we watched Attack on Titan in that first that first season we watched and right. I went as far as buying the graphic novel. Right. Would I do the same thing? For you a, totally would. You which totally is why would. I, never, I didn't tell you there was one. Because I knew I you will. <laughs> Don't it's, that's it ends yeah. and you're just like, well now I gotta know what happens. Yeah. But season two is coming mm -hmm. soon. Yeah. We we started watching right at the end of the year, so Yeah. And it, it's absolutely well, incredible. Those long plane rides I gotta take. Yeah. I got the novel coming <laughs> handy. <laughs> no. And then we'll be hearing spoilers about the next I season. didn't spoil anything on it. That's true. Well, on he, but no, he just, just got his I one, kept you know. it myself. I I wanna reiterate though, with the word unique, like that's not even a strong enough word they're they each character is so individual and has like their own special characteristics that like oh that's absolutely you can find something crazy. in all of them that you're like mm -hmm. that character's cool yeah. like that he caleb and i just sit there and like well, 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 who's your favorite sin we it's hard not, and you'll be like well i like this one and you're like no but this one's so cool and it, it they're so cool like, how we have two all that are they did that maybe do they have two, all of them like in each episode no, no. It's they you most of it's them building up the group. Yeah, they have about uh, three throughout most of the series. Right, right. two of them like are that. probably the coolest ones. Right, from the beginning. Yeah. Okay, and cool. moving on, your favorite TV yes, show. Yes, mine is <laughs> Out in Left Field. Right. Yeah, this was a show. <laughs> um, American Horror Story Hotel. Um, for three simple reasons. One, 
This is the only thing I was excited for in 2015. Two, I've been a fan of the entire show ever since it started with Murder House. Hmm. And then three, um, totally forget. What the <laughs> is. <laughs> you didn't watch many TV shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of the only shows that I've actually watched. Uh, I've been watching a lot of older stuff. And even See, more focus on movies and games. Mm, correct. Mainly games. Uh, this year was a big game year for myself. It was for everyone, I think. Uh, Finally, we've been so. waiting, but we're getting that. Yeah, so, you know, it's the only thing I made effort to, to watch. watch. You made time for it. Um, but you so, enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it. And and I, I watched all of them up to Freak Show, and I stopped okay. at Freak Show. But from the first to, what was it, uh, Coven was the one before th Freak show mm -hmm. it was it was fantastic. I mean, yeah. I mean, two the uh, asylum was probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. So I hear everyone say. I like I like Coven the most. That's my favorite one. It was good. I, I I mean I just like them all. I like the fact that they use a lot of the same actors mm -hmm. from season to season. It really helps. So, all right, ready for video games? Let's let's jump into. I it. mean that's like. Our top. That was this. I, as big as movies the were this year, I feel like <laughs> video games had their year finally, where everyone oh, yeah. could be like, there was something that released that was their. Twenty sixteen just looks even brighter in one year. Yeah, I uh, know. I agree. It was yeah. all in the past couple months as yep. when all the big titles came. That was the yep. worst. It was like, I don't have money. I'm gonna blow three hundred. <laughs> oh yeah, you sit there and go, what game do I think I can hold off on? Like that's the debate you're sitting at. I'm right. so glad that Witcher Three was released earlier in the year because yeah, I was I able to get it along with Falls. Like I can get this and Fallout Four. Yeah. yeah, and I sunk already a hundred hours. On I'm it, still so. undecided on what one I like the most. Well, or what for game game of twenty four? Well, you have time. Uh, Think about it because I'm gonna say mine right now, and it's Halo Five. Okay, I, explain why Halo Five. I love Halo Five. Yeah, and. My, I'm going back to what I said with Jurassic Park, some of the nostalgia, like the just getting it finally back to like that. That was the first Halo that I felt more like Combat Evolved, like Halo One and a little bit what of two in there. Good. We, I, we just weren't the chief. That was I did. It was a little weird. Yeah, it was a little different, but it that's, didn't bother that's me that's that much. That's what's hurting me. Um, the campaign. You guys uh, played through it. I mean, unfortunately, I haven't beat it yet. Way, so yeah. keep getting distracted. Um, but back uh, before. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> definitely enjoy it. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and then where the the pride and joy is is in the online, the multiplayer. Yeah, and that's yeah. they did such a it was phenomenal rough. job of making sure that that was, I guess, right. Well, I guess it. It you could say right. from what I played, uh, it was a good balance of keeping it good old fashioned Halo, but at the same time updating it to a yeah. modern style gameplay. And I I think now there's. This is taking Not a huge fan on that Rex system because that's easily can be turned into a cash shop. Yeah. People don't understand. They integrate it small right now and it's fine. But then next game, they're like, oh, well, we can push it now. Um, what was it? They made like I, I, a couple of million push. day one. We. This is a big topic for you, <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna keep it for the next one. All right. We've rambled about that pay to play system a little too much in here. Throwing your cash and stuff. That he, he, he but it's, like it's small a, purchase. It's, well, yeah, because yeah, you, I'm know. already paying sixty dollars for the game. They they know. Um, no, they, that's they do know. That's well, a problem. No, 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 I mean, I mean our viewers, the viewers that we have, they know. Oh, uh, they've watched that. But no, I used three videos. Back back to what I was saying about the the game itself. I feel with it being futuristic, it's super hard to balance weapons and things. Oh yeah. And I feel they did a really good job of that. Unlike Black Ops. Um, um, <laughs> are you trying there's, to start wrong? <laughs> there's like two guns that yeah. everyone uses. There's, there's a reason no one picked that. Um, <laughs> Is there a favorite? But, um, but yeah, I, I, cause, I don't know, I picked the, the house that they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, they can't have, who picks that as a favorite? We all got that play for like three days and we're, no, like, we're done. Year -olds. Like, I still play zombies from now and then, but you were saying talking about Halo. I'm sure there's someone out there that likes the game. Oh, there's Come lots on. of people. There's lots of people. There's lots of people. I mean, like, I mean, I played it for. I mean, that's what we thought. Yeah, so did we. I was moving on to other games. That's that exactly that. what we did. Like, <laughs> you know, it's fun to hop in. It was like the hot stuff for a week, and everyone's like, "Oh, new game." Yeah, it was like a mini game. Well, for yeah. us, for us, it was move on quick. Oh yeah. Because we're not huge Call of Duty fans. We're like, oh yeah, I was. Yeah, me too. In my life. Yeah, same way. Little and. Not an adult. <laughs> well, no, because no one can lie that the first four were would launch just FPS games in general. Look, Battlefield has ruined Call of Duty for me. There's 
Stories. Uh, well, yeah, I think it has for you know how fast that's come. That's and how far the topic though too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, okay, you were talking about <laughs> Halo Five. Do you have anything more you want to say? No. About? Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> to, to this apparently top favorite video. Okay. Game. I think we all look. All right. I would just like to. Are you I'd, changing or no? I'm not it? changing it, but okay. I'd like to say Halo Five and Fallout Four are my my favorite. He's dual favoriting. He's dual favoriting. You can do uh, that. Go ahead. Well, Tie him. Dual favorite. Halo <laughs> Five. It was great. Uh, we had a lot of funny moments, uh, the campaign especially. We've played through all of them so far. We still have to finish this one, but we get sidetracked. Battlefield 4. <laughs> and it's, it just brings back the memories, and it's just a fun time. That Now, the matchmaking was a little little iffy. It was hard playing people that are way higher ranked than you. Yeah, you it takes a while to help. figure that stuff out. Yeah. yeah. But Fallout 4... Is what we're gonna be going on to. <laughs> it was it was new to me because I don't. That was really the first one I played through a lot, and I, I have the most hours on that other than Halo Five. Mm -hmm. But it was. I mean, I still get frustrated in Halo, or well, Halo Five and Fallout Four. I would say I get more mad in Halo Five because just just mainly because some of the some, yeah. of the ways, some of the ways you get killed. A little bit different play style too. Yeah. One jumping from mm -hmm. Battlefield to Call of Duty or Halo. Yes, and then Fallout 4, you obviously have your little minor bugs that Ugh. irritate. I don't know if I call them minor. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, some of them change it, the outcome of the game. That's the thing yeah. with Bethesda. Yeah. Well, I haven't had that problem yet. I have more of my companion sucks ass. Mine just go missing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost, dog. Oh, no. I don't know where he went. <laughs> I just found dog meat the other You'll day. You'll find him at a bar. You just found him for months. <laughs> yep. Dog meat's always the big See, problem. I never, I never take companions with me. I experience that. Or you get stuck. I just leave You're trying there. to get away down the oh, stairway, and they're like God. there. Yeah. They're, they're like, get out. They're yeah. completely. They, they're just there to get shot in the face. Like that's all they do. Is or take you're trying a to stay hidden. Can what they do? Walk right into the limit. Oh, they walk right into it. That's why I never bring them with me. I, I, it bothers me just bringing even dog meat around with me. But he's a, he at least grabs our arm and stuff. Well, yeah. it's still your favorite game of 2015. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, well, I, I think do agree, yeah. with all of us, 2015, full of four. Yep. I mean, a lot of people, I think, are going to be with us on this one. Like, we, uh, we've we all been waiting for this for an eternity. I always just think about the, the meme of from Interstellar or whatever, where it says, what, one one day on this planet is seven years on Earth, and they say, I'll wait here for Fallout 4. Yeah. Because <laughs> like that's that how true. much people wanted that game. Yeah, because oh, yeah. I, had played, I had played Fallout 3 a lot, and I'd beaten it, and it was amazing. The only thing I wanted to change was, like, um, what the hell? Is that what? <laughs> um, the only thing I wanted to change was, like, <laughs> I was like asking me, I was like, what are you saying? I was like, what? What are you saying? <laughs> Having like a conversation with the iPad. <laughs> but no, like the only thing the only thing Siri trying to tell you her yeah. Yeah. The only thing I wanted to change from Fault Three was like how bad the gunplay was. There was no aim down sights, which is boring. At least gunplay wise. It was a fun game, still it was a huge world, this kind of Washington. And then with this, I think they got perfectly. They you know they updated it. But gave us a whole new world, and it gave us that. Um, I think the nostalgia. Of, <laughs> Same played Fallout Three. I played. I not nearly as much as I played Four, but I. Yeah. I, I started in Fallout Three, and I put probably. I think because ten. The minute you hear the music, hours. and the the war, the one oh, never man. changes line, man. That whole oh, intro man. to the game. Oh man. It's just you're just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like it's just like you you know you guys know what I'm talking about. Whenever you oh. feel nostalgic or something. And the minute you come out of the vault and you're just looking at the world, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. this is a game I'm gonna remember. The game. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. My favorite part isn't the game. It's more talking about talking th about the game to you, about what I did and what you did. Yeah, because we did two completely, completely different things. Completely different things. That's what's awesome about, you know, game Everyone's not that different. Because mm -hmm. from what I even hear from you guys, and then I'll tell the guys I work with who play it, and they're like, wait, what? What, is it? what did he do? Where yeah, is this? Like, we're all telling each other something yeah. different that we've been. Like, where is that? And it's a huge map. It's like, oh, it's like, how many... It's like, huge. There's hundreds of locations to discover. It's miles upon miles. Like I forget what it actually is though. Like I, I found know. side missions upon side missions upon tons oh, yeah, of that's endless. Out there. There's and then, one. Can I throw one out there? Did you find the kid in the fridge? Billy. Billy? Are you talking about Billy? Yeah. I found Billy. What kid in the fridge? Yeah, Billy, man. <laughs> Billy's the best. <laughs> He'll follow you too until you take him back. Oh, and then his family got murdered. Where's he at? I don't think a spoiler. No, it's it's optional. I mean, you can, um, you can save him if you want. Oh, I mean, if he's in a fridge. 
What was he doing in the fridge? He was hiding. Have you have you met nuclear fallout? Oh, have he you looks, met uh, looks like a ghost the Brotherhood of, brotherhood of Steel? Mm -hmm. oh, I oh, cannot awesome. find my favorite faction. faction. Right? That's my favorite faction. So I, I can't up. find that ship. Well, I the Pride Wing. Oh, that's my other thing. That thing's now, beastly. You mm. just said you, you <laughs> love that faction, but I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Yorkshire Yank. He checked out our podcast. He's, he's a very good streamer on YouTube Gaming. Yeah, he did. He gave, he gave us some advice. It was, it was very cool of him. Mm -hmm. Check him out. But he said he hates the Brotherhood of Steel. And he's probably going to betray them. Um, yeah, well, I feel like some people hate their kind of mentality. Yeah, I know. My cousin Andy, he, he not a fan of any of the factions really. People get too heart filled. They're like they're like the bad guys but they, they're like the good guys at the same time. Like just how they do things. I don't know. I never cared. I'm just like give me big guns, give me armor, let me shoot things. I'll do whatever you say. Well, we've all played shooter. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah we old run and gun. Yeah. We, we got Talking about companions hit left and dead. Little he left, the head. No, left little, or dead was like the, the worst game to play. <laughs> no no no. Here, let's talk about this little side story. They were we were all playing Far Cry four I was like, let me show you how you invade base. I grabbed a jeep, ran through the gate, shot everybody. I was like, hey, that's how you do it. You Rambo that. You actually survived. Oh, yeah. Oh, he uh, survived. We were shot. Yeah. Yes. Everyone, we're like, how? <laughs> ask, him, ask him how he plays for, or, uh, Left 4 dead. dead. You just run and shoot everything. Like, yes. And who, okay. who, who goes on first? Not me. Almost every time. We're, 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 we're like making we're plans. plans. And he's all the way down the other end of the map. Like, where yeah. are you guys at? Let me look at God. like the sword. Dude, the sword is amazing. You just mow things down with that, man. Until big ass awesome. tank comes out. Well, yeah, you can't fight. Oh yeah, and it's our stick. fault. But we're not there. Yeah. Where are you guys? Well, they're like Why sitting back. Like, wait, <laughs> what do you need to plan out? Like, let's just get in there. It's just like, what is it? strategy? No, 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 no. So I'm don't you strategy? Oh my god, you strategy oh, on no. them. <laughs> okay, so we've been over. <laughs> Zombies don't even okay. remember me saving them. <laughs> Nico was dying but beside me. We don't need he to, was dead know. like six floors away. I'm like, I'm going to Caleb. <laughs> he walked blood. right past me and went to wow. Caleb. Was, oh, so you were still alive. Yeah. Uh, they were running down. down right next to me. You always go to blood. He walked like a mile to get Caleb. <laughs> he walked right I could have helped him. He walked right past me. I'm like, yeah, I'll be died. right back. <laughs> we made it to the safe house, though. Did, did, did he get saved? No. Uh, <laughs> we made it to the safe house. They ran back past me. He saved him, and then they both ran past me, and a freaking horde came. <laughs> he, got, he got molested. And we both were like, you'll come back at the safe house. <laughs> he did come back at the safe house. All the you get guns, an award or whatever, house, achievement. Man. Whatever. Yeah. It, was, it was a blast, though. Oh, best story about that is I leave to go to the bathroom. <laughs> they know the story. They know the story. This is all Left 4 Dead too, because that's the, I was like just an updated version of Left 4 Dead. But Fantastic game. We still. we're still in the locker room. Like, wait for me to come back. I come back. The locker room is now filled with blood and bodies. I'm like, what? <laughs> what the hell just happened? And they just burst out laughing. Like, we set this off. <laughs> like, everyone's at, like 20 percent health. I'm you like, know, yeah, you know how like you have played Left 4 Dead, right? Yeah. So you know how sometimes like right before you even get out of your first safe zone, they'll be standing there. Well, we didn't realize, yeah. Nico and I, that there was a whole horde. Oh, we had, so we opened horde. it, like, we'll open it, we'll kill the first two, he'll get here and get caught up. No, a horde rushed in, and he and I just like, ah! <laughs> and he comes back, he's like, what happened? <laughs> We're all, like, limping along. We're like, like, what on the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> We're like, don't worry about it. <laughs> all right, we just went, we went so crazy. Yeah, we're really on top. But it's fun. <laughs> this, this is the point of this podcast. Yeah, we talk about whatever we want. If you watch, like, any other podcast, they do the same thing. So yeah. Um... Oh my god. Which we're not saying do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't watch anybody else. <laughs> we're 19% battery yet. Yeah. Jeez. Can you make sure everyone is in the shot? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the podcast. Our camera cut out as per usual. Yeah, you should be used to it by now. <laughs> yeah, until Pretty we get much. something better. But, uh... Hey. No, I see. I'm sorry. He's, he's, I see well, Jerry joined us anyway. But this is our cat, Jerry. Media yeah. suit mascot. <laughs> <laughs> he's retarded, doesn't he? Well, okay, we got. We don't have like time to like chit chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we're gonna talk about what we're excited for in 2016. Herpes. <laughs> 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 well, 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 place. Number one.
one on the list is herpes, <laughs> followed by AIDS. <laughs> It's a big year for most of them. <laughs> Coming from behind. Doing big things. You're going to make sure you tag this in the video description. Yeah. Okay, oh so goodness. first on the list. Who searches well, herpes in YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I'd be, I'd be looking for herpes. Hashtag <laughs> herpes. Winning 2016. <laughs> okay. Just go to the Reddit what the fuck page for oh like five God. seconds. You, you, you'll get it all. Jeez, oh man. But, <laughs> All right, we're we're getting off topic. Okay, we're excited for 2016. For the vision, the vision. <laughs> Nika's sure. really pumped. Can't wait. You can enjoy that giant visual down. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't down. care, man. I, I've already I said it's all about gameplay. It is we, all about we, gameplay. We've said that several times. Um, it's interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see how people interact with each other because I, you know, the fact that it's gonna be an MMO really makes a difference. Especially seeing how they show that little like tidbit where you can get into black. So or I'm thinking we all make a group. Right? No, because you'll betray us within minutes. No, no, no. We yeah, rob and steal. No, no, listen, oh, no, listen, listen to me. We rob and steal people because we don't want to be the good guys. And then people. I steal from all you guys. That's kidnapping. <laughs> you want to kidnap? No, we'd shoot them and take their shit. Uh, <laughs> That's my strategy. We know how I roll. I'll, run, I'll roll in with a Jeep, run everybody over. We'll steal their shit. I'll shoot all you guys, take your shit. As soon as you go in the game, we'll shoot you right in the head. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's all you I have to do. And then I wouldn't you. move up. You're my cousin, I'm not trusting and I them. don't trust you. You have, to, you have you're my brother. You have to team up with me for a little while. But you'll steal my stuff. Just always be watching me. <laughs> so you know, well, I just leaves Anthony and I. He you gonna get the division? You excited? You both need to get yeah, an Xbox. Yeah, I'll get it for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if if it gets decent enough reviews. Yeah, you can't always go by those reviews. Though. Well. Not no. saying don't go by, off of our reviews. They're usually pretty accurate. <laughs> well, that's a bias. <laughs> that is true, though. Okay, let's moving on to Uncharted 4. Woo woo! <laughs> it <laughs> looks what, great. Yeah, from what I've seen from the gameplay, it looks absolutely incredible. Um, and it's going to be open world, is it? They go in open world? I no. believe it was open world. I think you're just getting water crazy now. Yeah, I, like I, I believe you're world. doing that too. I, be, I thought it was open world though. They were talking about that. Like, the city streets. I don't all remember that. hearing about it. All I remember is the PlayStation demo that didn't work. When <laughs> <laughs> you trying to say that? Yeah, that was, <laughs> that's the only thing I remember. But it doesn't matter, linear or not, it still looks amazing. Especially that last trailer they have is really good. It's definitely at least semi-open world in the fact that how you can make the situation be handled however you want. Yeah, but I don't think it'll be open open world because I don't think Naughty Dog really does. Yeah, it's not like it's going to be a free roam. Because yeah. it's not going to be Fallout 4. Cause, yeah, because a lot of games have been converting over to that. Like, you saw it with The Witcher. They, I don't know if but, it, a great but there's story. not enough information on it right now. So. Great story and it looks good. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want. I want to chart it's known for their amazing stories. Right. So, All about gameplay. Bruh. Well, yeah, but I feel like nowadays games with the no, because that's not true. I was gonna say games with amazing story can sometimes carry it, but the order is supposed to have a good story, but got bad reviews because it's boring to play. Talk about that. <laughs> Are you being summoned in? <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> next one. Might just land here. So <laughs> like the beginning of the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, right. Like Cutty. <laughs> what was that? Next one is kind of just one for me because I played the first one. And I've never even heard of it. Um. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. X never heard of it. I've never heard of it. First XCOM wow. was Sid Meier's game. That's the porn domain. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, um, All right. No. I thought there was three X's, not just one. <laughs> that, well, that's this is the other. One. Whoa, you're gonna uh, triple X. Yeah. You're, whoa. <laughs> you like with Vin Diesel? Stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can know when he um, takes Ice Cube in that back room. That's whoa, whoa, that's wild. <laughs> uh. I played the first XCOM, it was really, really good. It got really, everyone that played it was amazing. I mean, Sid Meier's just oh, makes oh, amazing oh, 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 strategy oh, games. Um, one of the best turn-based strategies. I'm not a huge fan of games like this, the tactical turn-based. That's sci-fi. But because it was yeah. by Sid Meier's. That's why I'd, I'd never heard of it. Well, I stay away from that stuff. Because it was by Sid Meier's, I tried it. And just in my customization, it was just so much fun. I put a lot of time into it. Sid does really good stuff. Yeah, so, I, and because of his track record, the Civilization, yeah. you know, I play Civilization that. alone would make his resume worth it. Um, and maybe really excited for the second one. I'm excited to see what they do, so, you know, Glimpse Over. That's mostly, P that's going to be PC exclusive, so. And then, um, the next one is Mass Effect 4, which we know absolutely nothing, except that it's coming out. Um, really hard for it. Um, they're saying they're doing. They're going to be doing some really crazy things that they haven't done before. It's going to really feel like an open galaxy. Well, not what they always like. Everyone says that for every. Well, I mean, like 
but it's like it's gonna be interesting to see because like you can how you're gonna visit plants and like how far can we what can we do but we don't know are they it's starting over with a new main character yeah okay, that's what I thought maybe this could be the the one where I jump into the yeah. series because yeah. uh, the first three amazing stories you know just absolutely incredible so much depth so much that's EA so much replayability Bioware and EA yeah okay Bioware and EA. which Bioware just EA like, could shit possibly gold. destroy a game. Um, but well, yeah. yeah, but they let Bioware. Yeah, Bioware because they, they? Like yeah. I said, they're like they're like Bethesda in the fact they just shit gold. They have the Dragon Age series. They've done. Yeah, I only Effect. played a little bit of the last one. Mass Effect Three. Mm -hmm. I think there's yeah. certain certain like developers or developing studios or whatever you want to call them on um, that EA kind of just lets make money. Yeah, you know I mean like yeah, like, because they know if they tamper with them. Yeah, money. exactly. Yeah, um, I mean I oh I played here's that. one. I don't know if it's 2016. Titanfall 2, possibly? See, I, didn't, I never played... I watched you play the first one. Yeah. But it wasn't enough to get me to play it. No, it's a super fun game. It's just that they tried to... EA tried to force a campaign in there, like a multiplayer campaign, which was useless and sucked. And it should have been... That wasted time should have been... Should have been spent on more replayability for multiplayer. Once you get the max level, unlock everything. There's not much to do. Even in Call of Duty Battlefield, you can keep continually doing more... I'm just and throwing this Battlefield's out. giant map is what can keep you played because it's the replayability. Like oh, with yeah. Call of Duty, it's not that the maps change; it's that you can keep prestiging people like doing that. It's, you know, gives them something. Well, that's to do. how I play. Yeah. That's like what was the the Hitman Sniper game? That, 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 that's what it's called. Hitman is it, Sniper. Is it okay? Yeah. Well, there's a ton of challenges in it. I, I love doing the challenges, but it's the only. Thing that can keep me really into a mm -hmm. game. That's probably one of the main reasons I like Yeah, Hitman out. Sniper, even if you play it, it's the same exact yeah. map every there's, single time. But there's challenges, challenges upon challenges. Yeah. And that's like Battlefield, I play it, but I'm, I'm running out of things to accomplish. Yeah, he's always trying to figure mm -hmm. out how to do the next challenge thing. Well, I mean, it keeps me each game is just so completely different, though. That's why yeah. you can just keep playing it. Um, try it out. I think the thing about with Titanfall. Is like I said, there's definitely not enough guns. There was just, it was just such a limited amount. I think it's a lot of things. Um, I think there are more more customization needs to be added. That's the main thing. It's something to keep the players to keep playing once they reach max level. Unless you're Justin. Um, what? <laughs> I don't need to. He he'd be good with one. Oh uh, yeah. Well, once right. he finds something, yeah. I think uh, there was this like one shot head pistol that locked on. It got a little annoying. The well rod. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I played one time and had that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a little annoying. That needs to be fixed. I, I know they try to balance it, but you can't. It's hard to balance something. That's like I it. think was our frustration. I remember when you first got it. That was like one of your first complaints. Was that the? Oh yeah, I thought it, we balanced. played. Yeah, we were, we were switching. Yeah, and stuff, yeah. And we noticed that right away that the guns weren't balanced. That's what I. That's what I went to. Um, yeah. I know it's a little better. Like right now, like they got to a point where it's. Picks. You know the field is dried now because yeah. people are dying. You know they're they're tired of it. I think mech battles were absolutely awesome. The parkour of it, you know, running on walls, that was so cool. You could run on anything, unlike Black Ops, which is like... From watching you play, my favorite part about it was the mech fights. No, oh, it was so cool, you know, catch, I, I sucked at it. Because I used to watch but, you play that game on the PC, like, way back right. when. Mm -hmm. When it first it came out, awesome. I got it. Yeah. We had that 50 gig install. Looks like we had to extract it. the audio, which made me so mad. 20 gigs of audio. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> How does that make sense? It took, but nowadays it's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know every game's like 80 gigs. That's why I have a two terabyte hard drive and it's still not enough. All right, let's go into movies. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Far Cry Primal. No. Oh, he's he's threw it in there. He threw it in there. He, he snuck it. it. It's like Bella's big game, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, that whole crowd, that is such a 50-50. Like, you got some people on the fence. What are you excited about for it? it? Yeah, what are you excited about? Hey, the honey the setting. See, I, I, I'm with him on that. You know, I like the setting. The setting, I think it's great. I'm excited to hunt some animals, hunt some tribes, kill them. I, I'm excited to see what I can do as you know the, the the one guy. I'm excited to see how how many people you can get to build your tribe. And, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like building a tribe, right. I'm sure taking and over tribes. Take, exactly, stuff like that. You know, I have high hopes. The combat seems really cool and like. I mean, I I, I think it's going to be typical Far Cry combat minus weapons. Yeah. Um, You're just gonna use melee weapons like and Skyrim. bows, and, you know, bows and arrows and stuff. My it's just like really right? brutal, which is really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like all the different animals. That's yeah, so it's cool. The biggest gripe, animals. Animals. biggest biggest gripe is that you can tame a honey badger. 
That's probably the one of the coolest things. It's, why? It's why? Not because I love, I love right. trying to fight them in the last one. Well, you can fight them. Still. They were harder than the actual people yet. Oh, for sure. <laughs> they were a pain in the ass. That's what I'm but saying. I can't that's why I can't tame them. That's a good companion. Yeah. I, I, I just want to tame a demon fish. That's Ooh. that's a good one there too. <laughs> that I'm just saying, anytime one. you had to swim. Well, was there like awesome. nine of them, like, just waiting. On my nuts yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They came up all the time. It's like, hey, what's going on up here? So, I don't know. about Far Cry. I enjoyed three. Did you play three? Uh, no. See, for I played mean, two a lot. Skip three. The, the one in Africa, that was really cool. Played four. Played four. For me, four. 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 three was probably the best. Four was good, but, like, the Voss was just one of the best video game villains ever. And it just made, and the world was so cool. It was just probably one of my favorites. Fall 4 was good and all, but it just didn't, it wasn't at the same level. I'm hoping that with this new setting, Far Cry Primal, I'm interested to see what they do. Because it can be really boring, or this could be, you know, something I really enjoy. I don't mind games where I get I, I think it's going to be a niche game, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then there's not a lot of games done in that era. There's like none. Right, exactly. Which is why I'm so attracted to it. Yeah. But it's I new. Yeah, new that's what I'm interested to see. Mm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in it, too. They're not... They have no, they'll probably look at reviews. A war game based in the Civil War. We actually had so I would buy that in a second. I would Load too. Load your... I want to... I just want well, the World War II game so bad. Did you ever see the game Verdun? So Verdun? this future stuff. What? Well, I hate the future ever, stuff. Can't stand it. There's this game called Verdun. Mm. But it's a PC exclusive. But um, it's in World War I. Oh, it's really oh, cool. cool. It's really cool, and it's there's like all these Probably. trench battles and stuff. Oh, and no, it's I one shot, that. one kill. All right. So this it's, could almost be a whole other show. Yeah. Okay. Let's, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. We'll keep this for uh, next <laughs> uh, Now we're gonna move on to movies. We're finishing up here. Mostly, it's just the Marvel lineup. Marvel everything. We've just yeah, we've discussed it. They've got a huge podcast. lineup from Pretty year to twenty twenty. Yeah. So I mean, we got I'm Black Panther. We have all their movies. I'm going to say in a previous podcast. Star Wars Rogue One. You're excited for that? Interested? Yeah. To, uh, mm -hmm. Disney already think. said it was going to be different. A little different. It's going to focus on the the Resistance, right? The new Resistance, like, before. I, I don't know the details, but. I don't know. It'll be, it, it'll be interesting. I, 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 I got to check it out. Whole another podcast. <laughs> what? Whole another podcast. What, Resistance? Yeah, well, you. That's part, about this all is a part of our movies, except for well, 2016. I mean. Is that 2016 or 2017? 16, because that episode. <laughs> Seven is seven okay. eighteen. Don't get don't get too far in Solo and eighteen. Remember, we're on a time limit right now. How about they're already talking about who's going to play Han Solo? Hmm. Like how crazy is that? A young Han Solo? Yeah. That's and then they're going to do a Boba Fett one, right? Kind of. I think. think so. Yeah, that's after the final yeah. episode. Right. Wait, spoil it. Anyway, yeah. last so one. I said it. I said it quietly. Yeah. Last movie that we are excited for is Suicide Squad. And yeah. My main reason being is um, we're going to see Joker on the big screen again, and, and the first we time we've seen Harley Quinn. Hoping Queen. it is. Robin. Yeah. Well, uh, the well, the fan theory is that it's this Joker is actually Robin that got tortured by the actual Joker, right. which would make sense because this Joker's young and our Batman, which is Ben Affleck, is older now. So where's the old Joker's the same age as Batman? They're older, right. he's older as well. So, and he does. There's like things like that would explain his tattoos. You know, that would explain Harley why what's different. Explains. Harley Quinn. Watched, he has a Robin tattoo, which a lot of people were. I kind watched of one video show uh, a bunch of scars that if you watch the animated series, you see in that when he like tortures them and stuff, and they're on the crowbar. Oh yeah. They're they're on him, in that uh, like the little J he puts on his like face and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe and which would be cool because then we get the big reveal. So who is going to be the main Joker? Who's going to be the older Joker, that's going to be Ben Affleck's main episode. And that means they could possibly kill off this Joker somewhere along the line, which would be crazy. But that's possibly not true, this could just be our main Joker now. And uh, I'm just saying, Jared Leto, from what I've seen, just from the small clips, he's got it down. We all know um, why you want to He hasn't even, he, squad, though. him not leaving character when he's off set, it's crazy. Well, Caleb only wants to see it for Harley Quinn. Cause that's well, no, I want to see it for the Joker. That's but yeah, Harley Quinn is important to me. <laughs> Harley Quinn is amazing. Real, 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 real important deep down. Yeah. yeah, Harley Quinn is important. She's she's an awesome character. She's badass. Uh, I kind of want to see Deadshot. Will Smith is Deadshot. Will be interesting. Um, Hold on, we missed that, something in this list here. Next month we have Deadpool. Oh, that's no, right. we didn't miss it. 
We, I mean, on the um, list. Yeah, on the we'll list, it is not one there. Singled it out. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, like, one, Marvel isn't actually doing that. They, mm-hmm. From what I understood, they helped, but they're not actually, like, doing it. But um, but, they, but they're talking about, they're saying their Marvel Civil War, or Infinity War, or whatever, will involve 67 Marvel characters. And from what they have right now, that doesn't match up so um, they're well, talking about they're in talks with Universal or 20th Century well, they're gonna, now that they got they the money that's, that's that's the thing they still own the rights that but they're trying to yeah they have Disney back them now they got they're the trying to go for that Sony back. that Sony deal where they're like we'll put your name on it but let us have the characters we don't need another Fantastic Four. oh my god <laughs> that movie made me cry how do you butcher Doctor Doom like how do you butcher that whole thing that's another movie. That's another movie. That's Have you seen Fantastic Four? Not the, no, no. I didn't watch oh. it after Caleb told me about it. Was, yeah. It'll make you cry that they butchered one of my favorite teams, like, ever. It was so bad. I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you for watching the Media Soup Podcast. This is the end. We've had so much camera trouble anyway, so it's we're just going to end it. It's trouble. We just have way too much to talk about. And what well, we talked about? Well, I think we covered everything well. Enough, well, I'm trying to like close it up. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 at least I'll apologize. I'm like you. <laughs> um, so, Justin, what do you want to talk about today? <laughs> no, no, no. Thanks, Caleb. I'm sorry. All right. Anyone else want to like yell shit, dude? Wow, <laughs> no. Um, Thank you for watching uh, VD2 Podcast, uh, even with all our camera trouble and, you know, our yeah. weird videos you keep watching. So that's the beginning. Um, yeah. So, we're um, sorry for taking so long to get a new one out. That, that's partially my fault. I yeah, I'm busy. Work. Yeah. yeah. So, like, share, and subscribe really helps us out. We're trying to build a panel off. So, yeah. thank you. You can do. Thank you very much.